Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. As far as beach weather tomorrow, it doesn't look perfect, but it's certainly not going to be a washout. Let's take a look at what's going on right now. We have uh, some showers and downpours already working their way in toward the south coast. Let's zoom on into these uh, showers and downpours, and you can see them working their way into southeastern Mass, over into Westport, and over into uh, Newport, Narragansett. We've got a little shower, downpour coming on through Newport. You'll be seeing this very soon. We're going to be seeing more in the way of showers and downpours overnight because we're tracking an ocean storm, which is helping uh, to bring these uh, showers, downpours, maybe even a couple of rum rumbles of thunder later in the night. There's more information about this ocean storm at uh, WPRI.com. My latest blog entry is there. Many changes over the next seven days as we are expecting a lot of uh, ups and downs in the humidity department and some occasional showers and Dorian no more. It's just some remnants of Dorian out there in the Atlantic, but we're still monitoring it. Live city camp picture, good visibility in Providence, no showers yet. That'll likely change later in the night. Upper 60s to low 70s uh, areas in Providence and on off to the south, a little cooler there in Smithfield with a partly cloudy sky, 63 degrees. Up in northern, uh, excuse me, the satellite radar picture showing these showers already working their way in off of the ocean. It's associated with this blob of cloudiness, which is looking a little bit more impressive now. We were watching it for potential tropical development earlier in the day, but it's moving over cooler water now, and we are expecting this uh, little area of low pressure to track just off to our south and east during the uh, early morning tomorrow, and we'll be seeing some showers and some downpours with this storm system, little mini storm system, uh, into early tomorrow morning. And then we're going to be seeing uh, another cold front working its way in. Maybe a couple of showers during the day tomorrow, but a better chance of these showers and thunderstorms during the nighttime tomorrow night and early Monday. And this cold front may actually give us a lingering shower during the daytime on Monday. Then it gets less humid for a day or two. Your future cast for the uh, overnight. We're looking at these showers and downpours working their way in. I'm going to stop the map right there at 430 in the morning. Maybe a little heavy at times. Then we're going to stop the map right here at around 830. And notice how it's already leaving us some breaks of sunshine. And then we'll have a blend of clouds and some sun throughout the day. Notice not much in the way of shower activity here, but we will be seeing some showers uh, from time to time tomorrow for your overnight. About uh, 69 degrees for your overnight low with some rain, maybe a little heavy at times, even in the Providence area. And then tomorrow morning, some showers, downpours early, then increasing sunshine, 80 degrees by noontime in the Providence metro area, 83 to 84 degrees or so. And basically the same everywhere with the chance of a a passing shower or maybe a rumble of thunder or two during the course of the day at the beaches tomorrow. Temperatures should be topping out at about 79 to 80 degrees. Monday, a lingering shower or two, maybe a rumble of thunder. Not a bad beach day. Tuesday, less humid, more comfortable, 84. Same for Wednesday, maybe some more showers and thunder on Thursday. On Friday, maybe a, a passing shower or two. So tomorrow, Governor's Bay Day, not a complete washout, but uh, you're not looking at tons of sun throughout the day. So just in the morning, we'll have to wait for the rain to pass. Yeah, there'll be some downpours first thing, maybe another passing one in the afternoon. Not a big deal. All right. Well, thank you so much. Coming up on Eyewitness News.